Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's a real Captain Kirk here. It's the 16th of September, 2023. Hard to believe here, but you've got about a week left of summer, according to the sun. Again, so uh, enjoy these last week here. Good news is the weather is actually going to be more summer-like as we get into what should be fall. Uh, our team will be out at the uh, grocery shop here, 2023, out here in Mandalay Bay, Vegas here, uh, 19 through 21 September, uh, booth A142. We're with our partner, uh, Seek. Again, uh, developed uh, some cool new products uh, together on uh, Hurricane, severe weather, sales forecasting, uh, using hurricanes to project sales, and then uh, actually also predicting then um, seasonal sales categories as well. So again, something to check out. Again, be launching that here uh, in Vegas to, uh, here uh, this week. Look at a real quick uh, recap here of the world summer here, weekending 16th September here in the U.S. Just a hair colder, 0.1 cooler than a year ago. Coolest in three years, still 12th warmest, so above average temperatures nationally. 19% wetter than a year ago. A lot of that's due to the rain in the New England. Um, 19th dries in 38 years. So kind of in the average of the pack. Hot there in Canada. Number one hottest in 38 years, despite the cool weather there in the central uh, Great Lakes area. But uh, again, typical as you get a strengthening El Nino, you tend to get the world to warm up. And that's the case here. So then a lot of the areas of the world are trending very warm. And uh, many areas actually trending pretty dry. Uh, looking at tornadoes here, we only had about... Uh, Nine or eight since last week, again, but uh, still trending 24% above last year, 11% above average, most in four years. So again, continuing this uh, above average season, and that'll probably be uh, where we'll end here uh, going through the 2023 year. So again, an active season. This is a minor negative for um, uh, property insurance folks, and uh, but again, a positive for the home center folks. One thing here again is El Nino is rapidly strengthening. It looks like it's going to be uh, on the cusp of strong to an extreme El Nino. Um, as we get into the November, December timeframe, it's likely to peak and then potentially collapse pretty quickly as we go into 2024. You see all that chart right here, subsurface cold water temperatures. This is a subsurface now. So this is um, 100, 200 meters below the equatorial Pacific Ocean. So below the ocean, we have a lot of cold water there near the international date line, Australia, out toward Hawaii. Near the surface, again, very, very warm El Nino water. So that'll continue here for the months ahead in the balance of 2023. Getting uh, post-tropical Sokine Lee, once again, a Category 5 hurricane, but uh, now uh, just will be equivalent of a Cat 1 hurricane, post-tropical Cyclone Lee. Biggest impact, probably 6 to 12 foot storm surge. Um, still got wind, supposedly of 80 miles an hour sustained in gusts to 97. So just consider this a very strong nor'easter-like storm. But again, it's going to have a bigger surge, bigger waves. Uh, so potentially, again, pretty uh, uh, some damage for sure, maybe in the um, eastern end of Maine and uh, into the St. John, Canada, probably the most populous area. Um, I think they got about 70,000 plus people there in St. John, uh, New Brunswick, Canada. So again, some impact here today with uh, flooding and storm surge. Uh, pretty ironic here that uh, with an El Nino, normally we wouldn't have this kind of activity in the Atlantic, but we do. And the weather trends actually expected this above average season. But uh, we've got 14 storms so far this year, five hurricanes, three major hurricanes, an ACE index accumulated, cycle and energy of 105. All of these categories for Atlantic are way above average. So fast start for sure. Ironically, the East Pacific, where we'd expect uh, activity to be uh, more abundant with El Ninos, is actually below average in some of these statistics. So. Uh, the most active area of the world right now is the Atlantic uh, Basin. Again, a little unusual for the El Nino cycle. Believe it or not, we're not done. There's uh, another system out there in the Atlantic, and uh, we have to watch all these waves. You can see all that precip coming off Africa. Models have been hinting at something developing uh, either in the uh, Gulf of Mexico and around Florida here as we get into late September. So nothing out there as of yet, but again, they've been hinting at it and showing occasionally a very strong system, then the models take it out. But um, Conditions are certainly favorable for an active end to the 2024 season. If we look at this week, week ending 23 September here, again, the last week of summer, according to the sun, 0 0.5 uh, cooler than last year nationally, uh, seventh warms in 38 years, so still a hot week. If there's a cool spot, it's going to be there in the southeast. Rainfall down about 13% versus last year, driest in 33 years, so dry for sure. Uh, rain where we need it there in the heartland, that still some drought going on in the central plains, uh, parts of the western corn belt. So they'll take it. Uh, unfortunately, this is harvest season. So it's, again, a little bit too much uh, too late here. But uh, again, uh, some rain uh, where they need it. Looking at next week here, again, the, the last week of September, week ending 30 September. Again, again I've got to watch that uh, southeast uh, Gulf of uh, off the U.S. here and even the Gulf of Mexico potentially. So definitely watch the tropics here. Um, 3.2 hotter than last year, fourth hottest in 38 years, so warm week, uh, warm west, cooler west for sure, so Pacific Northwest would be a good spot for 
some seasonal sales, uh, retailers, seasonal suppliers trying to sell you coats, gloves, mittens, hats, hoodies, um, probably suffering here with some excess inventory for sure with this uh, warmer start again to fall. Precip down about 37% versus a year ago, driest in 15 years, ninth driest in 38 years or below average. We'll see about that. Again, got to watch the southeast here. Uh, again, what uh, potential could be a tropical storm or a hurricane. So again, something to watch here as we get into the uh, trailing end of the peak of the hurricane season, which will start to wind down in October into November. But again, we do expect a, an above average October for tropical activity. So we aggregate these two-week world trends here through the, the last half of September here, warm, pretty much wall to wall warm across the world. Again, not unusual with an El Nino cycle. Um, and again, uh, talking a different scenario here as we get into next year. So, so with that, folks, we hope you have a great weekend and a great week ahead. And uh, we will see you and talk to you this time next week. Mm -hmm.